It appears to be a random situation. Uh, there was no uh, there was no apparent conflict between the parties. Uh, the male just walked in and started shooting. Uh, we do have video uh, from the security at the store and uh, we're collecting other video. Uh, there was also eyewitnesses who've given us information. Uh, we do have video uh, from the security at the store and uh, we're collecting other video. Uh, there was also eyewitnesses who've given us information. Again, I want to reiterate the tragedy that we experienced in our county yesterday in Half Moon Bay and um, our hearts are broken. The semi-automatic handgun was legally purchased and owned. Victims were adults and a mixture of Hispanic and Asian descent. All of the evidence we have points to this being the instance of workplace violence. Hour one, where is your emergency? Uh, my house. What's the address? Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. What? I just killed my mom and my sister. You just killed your mother and your sister? How did you do that? Uh, I shot him with a uh, 22 revolver. And what is your name? Jake Evans. Are you sure they're dead? Yes. I want you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Where is the gun? Uh, it's on the kitchen counter. Okay. It's a 22? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Jake? Yes? Are you on any kind of medication? No. Well, I, uh, I've been going to the allergist a lot lately. Yeah. My mom. But no, nothing other than that. Okay, how old are you? 17. Okay, do you, um, is there any reason that you were so angry at your mother and your sister? I don't know, I, uh, I wasn't, it's weird, I wasn't even really angry with them. It just kind of happened. I've been kind of, uh, planning on, uh, killing for a while now. The, the two of them, or just anybody? Pretty much anybody. Why? I don't know. I, uh, I don't really like uh, people's attitude. Right. I think they're kind of, they're very emotional, I don't know, verbally rude to each other and stuff like that. Right. I don't know. It, it's okay. It's just my family, I don't know, they're just kind of really... I, I guess this is really selfish to say, but to me, they I felt like they were just suffocating me in a way. I don't know. Obviously, you know, I'm pretty, I guess, evil, but uh, that's, you uh, know, whatever. Okay. Sorry. Are, no, don't be sorry. It's all right. I'm listening. Okay, you have my undivided attention. Uh, were your mom and sister in their beds? No, uh... Uh, this this is really going to mess me up for the, you know, in the future. Uh, let's see, my sister, I told my sister that my mom needed her. Mm -hmm. She was in her room, and she came out of her room, and uh, I, I shot her, and she rolled down the stairs, and I shot her again, and then I went down and I shot my mom about maybe three or four times, but I'll never forget this. Uh, okay, that's fine. My, my uh, sister, she, she came down the stairs and she was screaming and I was telling her that I'm sorry, but to just hold still, mm -hmm. that, you know, I was just going to make it go away, you know, but she just kept on freaking me out. But finally she fell down and I shot her about probably three times. So they're both downstairs? Uh, yes. Okay, where are you? In the kitchen. Okay. You're not sitting by the gun, are you? No, it's about like 
10 or 15 feet away from me. That's all right. Where's your dad? He's out of town. Do you know where he is? Out of town? Washington, D.C. Okay. To, for, I guess, future reference, I don't really went to see any of my family members, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like it, and visiting or whatever. I, I don't know how it works or anything, but I, I just don't want any type of visitors I don't want to see. Okay. So there's just um, you and your sister and your mom and dad in the house? Yeah, and my grandpa and grandma, they live across the street. And my si oh, my oldest sister, she lives with my grandparents. And uh, I have another sister, uh, and she's out in college. She was going to come out to visit us tomorrow. Okay. You don't want to hurt yourself, do you? A little freak, freaked out about guns now. Oh, sure. But you don't want to hurt yourself. Uh, I don't know. I, I definitely, you know, I, I assure you, I definitely don't like myself, you know. Right. But I'm just so freaked out by guns now. And just to let you know, like, I, 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 I hate the feeling of killing someone. I, you know, uh, it. I'm going to be messed up. Well, you just take a deep breath. We have deputies coming, and they're going to help you. We're here to help you, too, okay? Man, that's sad as heck, man. I don't see why. I mean, I don't know these folks, what they do in their household, but at the same time, I'm just be like, how do y'all think about going through this stuff, man? Y'all up here killing your folks. You know what I'm saying? You know what happens when you do harm, bodily harm, all that negative stuff to people. What's going to happen to you? So it's like, I don't understand. And then when they call 911, explain their situation, right? Why they be so, like, calm and, you know what I'm saying? Like, dang, it just doesn't make sense to me how people be acting on calm after they ain't done some, some very demonic stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how... Do y'all build the courage up to even go through with this crazy plan? And then y'all folks going to mess around and, and, and take your own people out. Definitely the one that brought you in the world, you know.